I'm Stephen Holt and this is News for Now for Thursday, November 1st. We'll start with a quick look at the weather. It's going to stay warm tonight and tomorrow we've got some more above average temperatures along with some scattered showers. Now we'll turn to the news and a Long Island family may have literally unearthed the answer to a mystery that has stumped them for decades. They found bones while excavating the basement of their Lake Grove home that once belonged to George Carroll. Carroll disappeared in 1961 but was never reported missing and his wife never told their children what happened to him. Trying to get to the bottom of it, two of his grandsons dug in the basement for months and they found the human remains on Halloween. Police say they're still working to ID those remains, but Carol's son says he believes it's his father's. I feel great that my dad is free from that crappy hole. A terrifying end to Halloween in Washington Heights where a man in a horror movie mask shot two people. The bullets started flying around 2 in the morning. A 17-year-old girl and a 24-year-old man were both hit and critically injured. The NYPD says the shooter was wearing a ghost face mask from the horror movie Scream. A Frontier Airlines flight headed to Myrtle Beach had to turn around and head back to MacArthur Airport on Long Island this afternoon after passengers reported feeling sick from fumes in the cabin. Crew members declared an emergency after the fumes filled the cockpit. The Airbus A321 landed about 12 minutes after takeoff. Officials say 12 people were treated. Four were taken to the hospital. A judge has ordered the release of a 911 call made by an escort whose disappearance led to the discovery of several bodies on Long Island. Shannon Gilbert vanished in 2010 after meeting a client on Oak Beach. The search for her body turned up nearly a dozen sets of human remains near Gilgo Beach. Authorities said those people may have been killed by a serial killer. Gilbert's body was found a year later. Her family has been fighting for years to have the 911 tapes released. Finally, a woman who was told she would never walk again after surviving a terrifying attack is gearing up for the New York City Marathon. Hannah Gavios fell off of a cliff while running from a man trying to assault her during a trip to Thailand two years ago. She injured her spinal cord and was partially paralyzed. But on Sunday, the 23-year-old graphic artist will be crutching her way through all five boroughs as one of 50 marathoners sponsored by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation. Well, it means a lot of things um, to me. It's just, you know, showing that anything's possible. Um, being able to prove myself that I could handle anything and also show others that like not to let their limitations stop them. That's all for news for now. Keep watching to see a full report on that family mystery on Long Island. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in. If the walls of this Lake Grove home could talk, the Carroll family might not have had to wait 57 years to resolve a troubling mystery. We do believe that uh, George Carroll uh, was found here. Stephen Carroll was just five when his dad George went missing in 1961. Now he's convinced the human remains found in the basement of the family home are that of his dad. This is something as as we grew up, you know, we heard multiple stories. Michael Carroll was the youngest of the four Carroll kids, all haunted by the question, what happened to dad? They turned to psychics and more before Michael and his sons began digging to confirm the old family tale that George Carroll was buried in the basement. When I found what we found, I was like amazed that that was exactly what I thought was going to be there. The Carroll's mom had gone to her grave 20 years ago saying little about her missing husband. But today, Suffolk police told me we have not been able to confirm that Mr. Carroll was ever reported as missing. There are no records to indicate a death investigation was ever initiated. It's been, you know, 60 years of speculation, but we're still speculating, yeah. you know, as to what, you know, the, uh, you know, how this all happened. Stephen Carroll says his siblings have their theories, but he wouldn't share them. Police are still trying to confirm the identity of the remains, but do say foul play is suspected here. Oh, it's, it's incredible closure. You know, he was always here and, uh, it's kind of comforting to think that, you know, my dad was always here. 